Look who's here. It's, He's back. It's the uh, French Fry and Hamburger Show, friends. Seb, we're done with the first two-hour stint of our IMS open test. Tell us a little bit about what you found in your exploratory laps with this new aero kit, which you and just about every other driver here has never even been uh, in this configuration before. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we basically, uh, you know, got a glimpse of it, you know, at Texas, kind of saw what the thing felt like with low downforce configuration on super speedway uh, trim. And uh, yeah, first time here. So basically, uh, baseline, try and see where the ride heights are at, what what kind of downforce we're making, what kind of drag we're pulling, uh, COP and stuff Center like that. Center pressure, boys and girls. So like the balance front to rear. Uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, you know, tiptoeing through it and just uh, trying to see the effect of ride height and whatnot. So the engineers are just the ones scratching their heads and you know, the conditions are good enough that it's fairly easy flat around for now. Okay. Uh, you know, it's just not, it probably won't last very long if mm. wind kicks in and you know, track time goes to like 120 or something. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful day, so enjoying it. So how safe do you think yourselves and would you guess other teams are playing this initial run at least again knowing that everybody is really at the beginning of their learning curve is this over down forced over comforted and then start dialing back today uh well i think you know we're gonna get in the 70s so we've had cooler races than that yeah uh i don't know man it's uh it, it's so easy f even you know for anybody to look at what who's got what you look at the rear wing um I, we're running max right now with both side walls, the little... Yeah, um, on the uh, diffuser. Yeah, the vertical things on the diffuser. So you can see if they're on or off. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, they just seem to take a lot of downforce out of the car for not much drag. Mm. But, uh, you know, I'm sure in qualifying, people will try desperate things uh, as usual and see what it, see what happens. So it's really easy to gauge uh, how trim you are because it's really mainly rear wing and, and uh, yeah, side walls. So... It's, it's going to be tough to make a difference. I think it's it's turned into a, a bit of a mechanical drag contest, to be honest. So looking at lap speeds, we saw, again, unless it changed just before we started filming, uh, Marco Andretti was fastest at about 224.0 or so. Did have a little bit of towing going on out there. Not a ton, but uh, it seems like most folks were comfortable in the 221, 222 range. What was the general feeling of your car comfort-wise? Yeah, I mean, we, we really try to be alone just to get some aero data because when you get in the tow, then everything's messed yeah. up and you really can't tell what's doing what. So, um, you know, thankfully there's not too many cars and I think a lot of people are gathering data today. So every, most everybody is trying to be on, on his own. Uh, but yeah, Marco got a, probably a pretty decent tow, 24 uh, flat. And uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it. I think the car is going to suck up pretty good. Mm. Uh, the, the feel like he... Even from pretty far back, you you start to pick up you know quite a bit of speed. So uh, good. Um, yeah, I mean it was it was never a boring race, and I don't think it's going <laughs> to happen this year. Let's close on you on a more personal note. Last time you were here in a race car, brother, there are a lot of us coming to the hospital to uh, check on you. Any nerves this morning? What was it like? You know, you've been honest in saying. It's been a mental game whenever I have to push really hard. Is that uh, any part of your uh, first laps here since last May? Yeah, I mean, you, you think about it, of course. Um, I, I didn't know what I was going to feel like going through turn two, but actually I was surprised it didn't really do much. But, I mean, you know, you're just trying, you're a little bit more conscious of trying to keep a little bit of understeer in it. Although that was not a problem because we've had a buttload of understeer all morning, <laughs> so really wasn't too worried about that. But, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, obviously it, uh, I don't think it's something you want to completely erase either. I think it, it was, you know, it was some kind of a lesson, which, you know, I paid, I paid a pretty hefty price for, but, yeah, uh, the scars to show yeah, for it. I mean, it's, uh, you yeah, know, at the end of the day, yeah, it's a, it's a new beginning. It's a new configuration, new car, and, uh, you know, just, just focusing on trying to guess uh, a good race car. We'll save the heroics for qualifying in May. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It. We'll see what we'll come up with. But uh, you know, it's it's this place. You know, it's it's it, uh, it drags you into a place where you know maybe you shouldn't go, and and it's it's a bit of a mind game. So you know, yeah, everybody everybody goes over the line sometimes at, at the 500, whether it's uh, it's a good thing to do or not. I don't know, but. Uh, 
Uh, last year I stepped over the line and yeah. uh, and that wasn't good, so we'll try and not do that again. But still, obviously, we want to try and be on pole and want to win it. So you know, you know, at some point you'll have to take some some chances, not not be stupid, but you'll have to. To paraphrase Dave Chappelle, we don't want you to be a habitual line stepper, so uh, we will be safe there. All right, well, we've got a full afternoon of running to go, but just want to check in with you, Seb, and with you at home real quick, give you a, a quick look in first morning here. IMS Open Test. We'll talk to you later. Good to have you back, brother.